All right, so we're picking up again here from the cash, cash budget. All right, so the cash budget um, is made up of, again, we're going to be doing the beginning cash balance here, plus budgeted cash receipts minus budgeted cash disbursements uh, equals our preliminary cash balance. And we'll see here in the next slide how the preliminary cash balance helps us understand if we have enough cash on hand and if we need to take out a loan. Okay, so we're gonna we're gonna go through this here. So this is uh, this, this area right here is our cash receipts, cash disbursements. Okay, from the selling expense, more disbursements from uh, general admin. This is a loan uh, interest that we're paying here, and this is our balance. So our balance, the important thing to know is our balance is not enough. So we have right here a cash balance of twenty thousand dollars by policy. That the company says we have to maintain, so we have to uh, take out a loan. Uh, we can see here in the interest we've already actually taken out a loan for ten thousand dollars. Okay, so so this right here is uh, the interest on that ten thousand dollars. Now we're going to have to take out more. Okay, so. With uh, here, let's go back to these here. So this is our preliminary cash balance. So we we remember uh, before that this is kind of the the end of the equation uh, over here. Let's see, it was a couple slides ago, right here. So this is what we were going towards is the preliminary cash balance right here. Okay, so that's what we're solving for as we do beginning cash balance, receipts, and then disbursements as we're going for this pre preliminary cash balance, which is right uh, here. So this is the preliminary. So this is a this is another part of the cash budget, is taking this preliminary cash balance, figuring out okay where do we do we need to borrow some additional funds. Uh, we're going to have our, our target cash balance here at the end, the ending cash balance, and then our total loan amount is right here. And this will roll forward every time um, to help us understand what uh, is making up our cash, if it's loans or if it's actual operating um, items. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and go down through the same thing. These are our receipts from sales. Uh, inventory purchases, sales, general, um, admin. Uh, we have some dividends here that will come up later. And uh, this is the interest on all the loans that we have so far. Our balance, our cash balance is a lot better than last time. So we actually have money now, or cash now I should say, cash now to repay the loan. And we'll see that happen here. So this is our preliminary balance. Okay, right here. Uh, we're able to repay the loan, and then that gives us uh, an ending cash balance that's above the minimum of twenty thousand. Um, so we're going to keep going. Uh, this again is December's. Uh, same thing. This is a capital expenditure. So remember, we were going to buy, you know, a piece of equipment or something like that as capital. So that's cash out. That leaves us with. Uh, a lower cash balance than we need, so then that means we have to again take out loans for to keep our cash balance up. Okay, so this could be you know in the form of this ad additional bar borrowing could be uh, you know a line of credit that we're drawn from, uh, whatever the case is. It's it's loans that we owe interest on to drive up our uh, ending cash balance, uh, and then it's going to drive up our loan balance here. Okay, so that's the cash budgeting, right? So the, once we have that in place, then we're able to roll over then and build our budgeted income statement and budgeted budgeted um, balance sheet. Okay, so here's how the income statement rolls. This is from the sales budget, from the purchases budget, cost of goods sold, 
we have from the selling expense budget, right? So that that rolls up. And then this is our general general admin. This is your, all the expenses from the period, right? That are rolling up. And then our income tax at 40%, right? So that the percentage is going to be applied here. Uh, and then our net income here is going to be used as we build our budgeted uh, balance sheet. So once we have that, then we're going to go on to the budgeted balance sheet. Budgeted balance sheet, uh, so we're, we're starting with uh, beginning balances here, right? Uh, and from last period, and then we'll either add to or subtract depending on our activities during the period. So this is from the cash budget. That's our minimum balance. This is from the cash receipt. So this is accounts receivable here. These are all of our assets. And this is merchandise inventory. So what, how much did we buy? How much do we have on hand? Um, this is our uh, equipment. Remember, we did a $25,000 purchase here. Uh, and then, of course, our accumulated depreciation expense from the general admin expense budget. Then we roll down into liabilities. We have our accounts payable from buying inventory. We have our uh, income taxes payable from our income statement at 40% of our income. Bank loan payable. This is from our cash budget. And then uh, here towards the end, we're going to have our retained earning, which is made up of, this is from uh, the, our beginning balance, right? Beginning retained earnings add in our net income from our income statement, budgeted income statement, subtract out dividends paid, right, and that gives us our new balance here. Okay, so so that's something that we learned before, but this is a budgeted, so this is same process, we're just working from budgeted numbers as they roll up. All right, I hope that uh, helps out as you uh, look through and put that together. Any questions, feel free to give me an email. Thanks, bye.